Hey everybody, it's Tim from Part 2 Pro. Thanks for joining me today in the Edmonton, Alberta showroom. Today I'm going to do a short video on the iMini Lite and the setup process. Uh, Cam has done some other videos. Have a look at those um, for this uh, unboxing and uh, settings and features and things like that for the iMini Lite, which has been a very popular uh, product over the this summer. So I thought we'd do a couple little uh, extra videos here. So what I'm going to do is uh, let you know how to set it up um, and ready to play some golf. So on the floor here, I've already set it up perpendicular to my target. I've done some alignments and made sure that it's perfectly uh, perpendicular um, to the target, and I'll just leave it there. We just want to make sure that you do that uh, first thing first, right? So the ball's going to be placed here. You want um, the target to be uh, the screen ahead of here, and you want to be nice and square to that, uh, to, to that target. So we've got it turned on. Now, if you come around here, uh, I'm going to show you how we connect. So we've got our power cable, obviously, plugged in. We've got it turned on. We've got the, the provided e, uh, Cat6 Ethernet cable. There it is there. That's what it looks like. That's going to plug into the back of the Ethernet port here, and then it's going to plug into the back of the Ethernet port onto your computer. Um, I won't go back there. You know what it looks like. It's uh, only one size fits uh, the plug, so don't worry about plugging into the wrong plug. If it fits, it's the right size. Okay, so next thing what we're going to do, again, we're going to turn it on, and then we're going to transition into uh, actually installing it on the software itself. So I'll take you over here. Perfect. And okay, so now that we're at the computer, the next first stage is obviously going to be launching the Unicore launcher itself. Uh, I've already had it opened up, so I'm going to go in the hidden icons, double click on my yellow Unicore icon, and there it is. All right, going to maximize that. And the first thing I want to do is go to the install tab. Okay, obviously I've already logged in. You want to have that My Unicore account created. I'm going to go to the install tab. We're going to get going here. And first things first, we're going to jump over here. Sorry, my mouse is jumping around a little bit. I might need a new battery. Uh, iMini Light is, the, is uh, obviously what we're going to be selecting here. I'm going to click the, uh, select the check mark there. I'm going to click continue. Um, you can read through this if you'd like, you can pause it. So basically it's just letting you know to connect the ethernet cable to the computer, um, both ends, it's gotta be directly into the ethernet port of the computer. Um, there is an, a, a, a provided USB ethernet adapter for your internet that'll go in a USB port. Um, okay, so we're gonna go continue. And I know that our ethernet port number nine is the one that I've got connected here. You should only see one. Um, if you aren't a hundred percent sure, uh, give me a call. I can definitely help you with that, but you want to go into your network settings and you can actually unplug it from the computer and there'll be a red X on the network connection. That's going to be the one for the iMini light. If you want to do it that way under the uh, control panel network and uh, sharing center. Um, but I know it's ethernet nine, so I'm going to click select. And then I'm going, uh, so what's, what that does is configuration completed. What that's actually done is applied an IP address to that particular ethernet port for this particular device. So it'll just take a second here as it's reading the device. Now ours is already registered. So yours will say register and be yellow and you can select it. So this one's already registered. We did it previously. So I'm just going to click select. So you're going to click register and then select. Okay, I'm going to click select. It's going to be a couple seconds here while it's assigned. And then we will click on continue. Okay, so licenses. Um, you can do it a couple different ways. Select all and uh, click activate. Uh, we've got the View AI engine already activated, um, but so I'm just going to select this bottom one here for the player package. Um, you can actually select all of them if you'd like and then click activate and continue. So I'm going to do that just to, to show it exactly how you would do it. So I'm going to click activate. It's going to assign it to this particular computer. Click on continue. And this is where we're going to do the, uh, this is another chance to make sure everything is aligned properly. If you see that red line, it's nice and square to the green box. So it's not on an angle. It's, it's perfectly square to that green box, which means that you are perpendicular to the target. If you had a situation where uh, you had to move it left or right, you want that target to, uh, 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 
target alignment line to be moved in any which way, you can do it left or right with these buttons here, left or right, uh, whichever way you want to go. I'm going to click reset here and uh, boom, and then we're going to click apply. So everything looks good here. We've got the green ball detection area and we've got the target alignment here, which is facing and pointing at the target itself. So I'm going to sw swing down here and click uh, apply. And then we're going to go ahead and click continue. All right, to the next stage, which is six of seven. All right, here you're going to want to select your handedness and then click on the start button here. It's going to initialize and then you'll hear a bit of a chime and then I'll transition to hitting a ball here. I'll just, uh, uh, I'll leave it on, um, actually no, I'll just switch it up here to iron. There it goes, it's detecting a shot. Actually, I'll just leave it as is. It's detecting the ball. You can see the unicorn light has, has is nice and bright green and the red um, IR lights are solid red. So that means it's detecting the ball and it's ready to read. So I'm just gonna hit a shot, nice and smooth. And uh, just to make sure that we get some kind of reading, uh, which we do, and we're gonna continue and we're pretty much done, ready to do some golfing. Right, continue, you are all set, continue. And then at this point, we've already downloaded view and third party connector, depending on your license. Uh, if you have refine, you could down install refine, um, third party connector, but the main ones are going to be installing, uh, like I say, third party connector and view. Ours will have a start button. Yours will say install. You're gonna wanna click install and uh, then you'll get to this point. Just follow the prompts and you should be good to go. Um, last stage, I like to do this just to make sure that everything's all good, um, is open up view and hit a shot. But you don't have to do that. It's, uh, you're pretty, I'm you know, confident that we're gonna, uh, it's, it's already registered and it's activated and it's set up already. So you're, you're good to go. And that's pretty much it, folks. Thank you for joining me. Please go to www.par2pro.com, 877-412-161. If you have any questions or concerns about this product or any other product, be happy to help you out. You have yourself a great day.